the center of your space, take a big inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, arms come down. Again, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. We're gonna go for eight. Just breathing, opening, expanding our heart space. Ready to show off the big, beautiful diamonds to the world. If we had the heart of the ocean diamond, it's gonna be just nice and share. We're gonna go for four and three. Just give a nice little pulse and two and one. All the way up, turn the feet in, forward fold. Take a few rounds of breath here, maybe bending and straightening into either leg. Releasing the crown of the head, swaying side to side between the weight. We go for five. Keep it forward folding, treading through this forward fold for three. And two. And one. I'm gonna come on sideways. You're gonna inhale, flat back. As you exhale, you're gonna round into a standing cat. Then inhale, drop it down. Exhale, round it up. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, fly it up. We're gonna go for five. Make sure the weight is towards the balls of the feet as you come into your flat back. For the last two. And one. All the way up, turn it back out. You're gonna come to a first position and we're gonna go inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So all the way up, all the way down. That's right, we're moving. We're starting to get warm. I don't have my air conditioner on and it is hot already. It's like hot bar, y'all. Oh, I don't know if that was the best idea. We're trying to save money though. <laughs> For three, so hot bar it is. For two, and one. You're gonna come into your first position. You're gonna contract, release, contract, release, contract. Now, don't go in and dump into the back and lower into the low arch. Really come, find the center. So it's like a standing crunch. We go for eight. Tailbone is heavy. Shoulders stack up over the ears. Gentle plie in the legs. For five, four, three, two, one. Come up back into the plate. Pull the navel into the spine. We begin to pulse. Don't release the tailbone back and go into that low back. Keep the arms nice and to the side. The shoulder, the arms are not in line with the shoulders. They're slightly forward. Core is pulled in tight. You're listening to your music with your water bottle as your margarita glass. Because it is five o'clock somewhere, ladies. We're pulsing for eight and seven. Keep it up, still breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Sometimes, especially in times of stress and craziness, we hold our breath and we get very, very tense. Don't do that. You really wanna keep that breath in this cardio workout. For five, four, three, you can do it for two. One, keeping the demi-plie, little circles, little circles. We've got it. We're breathing and smiling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse that circle, yes, for eight and seven and six, five, four, three, two, one, bring the arms forward, open the mouth. Bring it forward and open. Now imagine that you're doing this through molasses or mud. What would that resistance feel like? We close it and open it. Stay low in the plie for five. Press evenly before the four corners of the feet. Two and one. Beautiful, inhale, straighten the legs, arms come up fifth high. Then we're going to plie, and stretch, and plie, and stretch. Keep plieing, I'm gonna to turn to the side to show you what comes next. Now, we're going to plie, and then you're going to lengthen the leg behind you, come back and straighten. We plie, tendu back, and first, and straighten. Plie, tendu back, and first, and straighten, and plie, tendu back, and first, 
Five more, we've got this, five. Back to first, plie, tendu, plie, straighten, last two, tendu, plie, straighten, last one, keep it back, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, coming back to first, lengthen the legs, shoulders roll down and away from the ears, slowly begin to lift the heels, elevates. We lift and a lift. Now, lifting up through the kneecaps, pull the navel into the spine, squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement. Yes, 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 we've got this. For eight, seven, six, five, keep it going for four, three, two, one, coming back to the plie pulse. Plie pulse. Check in with your breath. Check in with your smile. We're doing it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We plie and tendu and plie back to lengthen. We plie, tendu back, back to plie, lengthen the legs. Plie. Tendu, and plie, two first, and plie, tendu. We've got it, I know, my shoulders are burning too, but we can do this. Whew. We'll do it in the name of the 10 pound garland, the garland waltz that scarred me forever. For five, it was 10 pounds, I mean maybe it was, it really did feel like 10 pounds. I was like 16 years old, thought my arms were gonna fall off. Daglum garlands. We've got this, two more, two, Still breathing, last one, we hold, we hold, tight core, pull that navel in, coming back to the first position, open the arms, shake it out, taking it to the bar, good job. Okay, facing your bar this time, I'm gonna lift my computer up so you can see my feet. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you guys. I missed you all so much. It's been way too long. Okay, this is perfect. Yes. Now you'll be able to see my, perfect. Okay, so facing your bar, then you're gonna take, and I'm sorry you won't be able to see my head, but that's not important right now. You're gonna go from your first position. We're gonna go first, first, lengthen, lower. Plie, pulse, and pulse. Then you squeeze, lengthen, lower. So the accent is heavy, heavy, lift it up and up. And it's heavy, it's heavy. Lengthen up and up. We've got it, eight, breathe in. Again, the heavy tailbone, tight core, broad collarbones. We've got this, whoo, it's sweaty, it's hot. Yes, last three, and up, and up, and a two, and a up, and up, last one, and up, and up. We're going to plie in first, open out to second and first, and second, and first. Really press down through that standing leg. So you're really going up and over. Wide second positions. You wanna press down through that heel, make sure the knees are still going in the same line as the toes. We go for eight, breathing, turn the music up. This isn't even as bad as Sally. I feel like Sally's like the worst. After I did Sally, I'm like, I can do anything. You can do Sally, you can do anything. Yes, for four, keep it up. Three, two, and one, keep it in second. Make sure that you're stacking the joints. Heavy tailbone, tight core, let's open our arms to second. We go for eight, and seven. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way up, inhale. Maybe take your bar out of the way, off to the side. Keep that tight open round star position. You're gonna take your right hand to your left ankle. You're gonna plie staying turned out. So see how you wanna keep it half of this horse. Yeah, so this is the grand plie. This is essentially what we're doing. So you're gonna come from a star, right hand to left ankle, tap, 
and lift, and tap, and lift. Tight core. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. For 10, breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, we got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna add, taking the weight over and lift. Take it down, bring it over, lift. Take it down and lift. Really get on that standing leg, use the core. Pulling up, lunge it down and up. We go for eight, energy through the toes. Seven, we breathe. Six, and five, four, we got it. Don't lose the alignment. Three, two, last one. All the way up and open it out. Take a deep inhale. Hands to the waist as you exhale. Take a moment to rest. Then inhale, open up nice and wide. Opposite side. Left hand to right ankle, inhale. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Breathing. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna add the lunge, lift, lunge, lift, tight core, breathing, lift, for five, eight, and seven, six, energy through the toes, we've got this, five, four, three, two, we've got it, last one, lift, inhale, and exhale, beautiful job, grab a sip of water, and then we're going to come back to our bar with your uh, squishy ball, whoop, whoop, whoop. come on, that was like a warm up, I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go, that's a good one. We need to do outside bar one day. Okay. Whew. I'm going to turn some music on my end because I got to jam out. I got to find something. Got to inspire me. So find some inspiring music that's going to get you going. We're going to go into a cardio boost. This cardio boost is jumping jacks or one leg at a time and then jump ropes with tiny hops. With your hops, however, it's important that you're going through the metatarsal. So watch my feet really quick. This is me not doing anything. This is me rolling through my feet, right? That's what I want you to do when you're jumping the rope. Roll through the joint. Don't just like flat foot it hop. That's too much on the hips, the knees, the uh, lower pelvic region. It's just too much. And I say, let's take care of our joints. So roll through the feet. Even if it slows down your jump ropes, I'd rather you be safe in your joints. All right, ready? Here we go. Take it out, out, or jump it out. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. You can do this. Woo! Breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Jamming it out. Blaring our favorite music. Right now we got some Disney music in the bathroom. Sawyer's playing with cars in the bathtub. Daddy just loves it. It's just splash time everywhere. For five, four, three, two. Here's the jump rope. Roll through the feet. Roll, roll. Yes. Really cushion those joints. Tiny, this is our jump rope championship, y'all. Whew. Well, when I say jump rope, right? as cardio, when I started working out as an adult. I was thinking, when I was a kid, I used to do those skip it, hula hoops, jump ropes. I jump roped for like 
60 seconds, I was like, never again. It was awful. I hated it. But now it's like not so bad when you roll through the feet. It's just when you have too much on the joints. That's what I don't like. We go for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo! Got that heart rate up. Perfect. Grab your squishy ball. Let's start with our left hand on the bar. First position in the feet and legs. Arm on ball, shoulder is rounded, core in, heavy tailbone. We're going to relevate ball come center and lower. Make sure as you relevate, lift and lower those heels, that the weight is going towards the big and second toe. Don't sickle the foot and take the weight towards the baby toe. Because then you're putting a lot of strain and pressure on that Achilles tendon. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, we've got it, three, and two, one. Step the heels together, pulse, pulse, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. Again, weight going towards the big and second toe. Lengthen, heavy tailbone, rounded arm. Breathing. We are happy to be happy houring at the bar for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now, you're going to step away. Keep the inside heel lifted. Place your ball directly underneath the outside, the inside heel. Oh yeah, this is gonna rock our worlds today. Now, you're gonna go plie, plie, lengthen. Plie, plie, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. Really press that ankle forward so the weight is going into the big and second toe. It's amazing how this little ball gets ya. I saw this trick and I was like, ooh gee! This is just great. For eight, heel high. Seven, pull the navel in. Six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Stay at the bottom, we pulse. Pulse, nice and slow. Check in with your breath. Check in with your tailbone. Pull the rib cage in. For eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. I know, I know for two. And one. Reach down, grab that ball, come back to a first position, and heels lift. They lower, they lift. Ball arms overhead for eight, seven. You can do this. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Step the heels together, pulse it down. Straight down. Whoo! We got this for eight. I gotta cheer myself on y'all. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up. Lengthen it out, shake it out. Other side. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We are burning the calories today. I figured why not? We're just gonna go for it. All right, first position and elevate. Arm overhead and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze the glutes. We go for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, we got it for two, and one. We're gonna pulse, pulse, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. Now, as I'm lengthening my legs and lifting my heels, I'm pulling up and squeezing, so everything pulls up together. So if you have point shoes on, you would be doing what's called going over the box. 
So lifting and lengthening your body so that your foot and your body gets over that little box. Helps you balance, makes you feel more stabilized on your shoes. We got this for five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it down for eight, seven. We've got it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the inside heel, place the ball directly underneath the inside heel, and pulse, pulse, straight up and down. For one, two, three. Not knees still going in the same line as toes, and make sure that this is not happening, because then that puts a lot of strain on that low back. Makes it like super a billion more times painful. It's like muscle building's already painful. Let's not let our bones be pain. For eight, we've got it. We're smiling. We're rocking. For five, four, three, two, one more round. Stay low, stay low. We've got this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna reach down, grab for the ball, Bring the feet into first, arm comes overhead. We lift the heels, lower the heels. Lift and lower. Lift, tight core. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close it to first, pulse, pulse, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. Heels are high. Squeeze them together. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses. Pulse. Straight down. Get low. This is it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whew. As you shake it out, take your bar or chair and make it so that you face forward. So facing forward towards the bar. How are we all doing, y'all? Doing good. Whew. Okay. So I'm going to grab some water for a second. We're just going to take a little, little breather together. That was a lot. There's a lot that we jam-packed in there. It's because I'm getting our calorie count up, y'all. Summer classes are gonna be the burn class. Okay, grabbing onto your resistance band, whichever um, resistance works for you. Huh, I'm gonna do like in between a heavy and a medium. You're gonna face your bar <clears throat> and you're gonna stand in a demi-second position. I'm gonna pull it back so you can see. There we go. In a demi-second position. You're gonna tondu the leg and bring it forward. So see how I'm keeping that resistance, but I'm not like laying back and lazy boy. Pull yourself up, keep the leg outwardly rotated, flex the toes. You're gonna turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Up, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, lower. We lift, turn it in, Turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Five more, turn up, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, lower. We lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, lower. We lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Four more, lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Three more, lift, turn it in, turn it out, Pulse, pulse, tap, lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap, last one, lift, turn it in, 
one, do, bring it back on, keep the resistance, take it up, lower down. So we're getting into the metatarsals of the feet. We gotta work through the arches. So uh, like plantar fasciitis or wherever you have your, the muscles of your foot give away and like, it's like the tissue's just like hanging there, I guess. I don't know. But we gotta work those little muscles because they do a lot for us. And the more I talk, the more we don't think about the burn. For five and four, three, two, one, keep it side. We pulse, pulse, tap, pulse, pulse, tap. For eight, breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, you can do it, two, one. Beautiful, taking the weight to the other side, tendu, flex, ready, other side. We lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Lift, turn it in, we're smiling, pulse, pulse, tap. For five, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, pulling up out of the core. Lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, pulse, tap. Lift, turn it in, turn it out, pulse, Pulse two more, come on, come on. We got this. We're working. We're burning those inner thighs. We lift, turn it in, turn it out. Pulse, pulse, tap now just. Pulse it up, pulse it up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it out to the side, lower the foot. And tondu, lower. Tondu, lower. Really get onto that standing leg. Pull up out of that standing hip. Core is nice and engaged. For eight, breathing seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay on that leg, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift and tap. Pulling up out of that standing leg. Keep it outwardly rotated. I know, I know. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Reach down, grab your band, pull it up right onto the tops of the thighs, the top part of the quad. You're gonna come into a releve and then press the heels together, the band coming out. Again, super important, take care of your low back, keep it pulled in. The heels, you want pressing together, you're gonna turn it in, clamshell out. Turn it in, clamshell out. Turn it in, pull it up. Turn it in, pull it up. In, out, in, out. It turns in, it turns out. So see how I'm just turning in, turning out. So I'm really working the interior and posterior rotation for eight, seven, tight core six, Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it turned out. Heels pressed together. Double pulse, pulse, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. Pulse, pulse, lengthen. For eight, seven. Pulling up through the low belly. Lift and squeeze. Glute squeeze. You're lifting through the kneecaps, so you're engaging through the quads. Keep that pretend corset on for five, four, three, two, one. Stay low, stay low. Little pulse, little pulse. Now, stay low, right hip, left hip. Right hip, left, so nice and slow. Just making like a, a U. If you have like a little pendulum swinging, it would swing side to side, side. Stay low, you should be shaking a lot. And if not, woo, I'm shaking for you. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, lower, remove the band. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's get that bar. 
I'm gonna turn mine to the side, but you're gonna face your bar for this next one. Um, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it to the side because the thing that's a bit most important on this one really is your uh, stomach and uh, your low back. So you might have the strength. I don't have it right now. My low core is just not there quite yet. Either it is or I'm just lazy. I don't know, it could be one of both. But I like to come onto my forearms. You're going to want the band. I'm sorry, that was my bad. But keep it on right above the knees. And you're gonna keep the knees straight this time. So normally uh, when we're doing kickbacks, we do it uh, with a bent knee. We're gonna do it with a straight leg this time to give the core a big workout. So you can come to a flat back on the forearms or you can come to a full flat back. The only thing is the full flat back does stretch, stretch your pecs and your low back and core have to work a lot harder. So you be the judge, you're your most inner guide. So with the legs nice and straight, I'm gonna tondu the uh, right leg back and I'm gonna keep it pointed. Keep my bottom leg nice and straight, core pulls in. You're gonna go double pulse, pulse, lower tap. Lift, pulse, pulse, tap. Keep that core engaged and the knee is nice and straight. Don't lock it out, but just pull up through the quad to keep the kneecap nice and in line. Knee over toe, both hip bones should face the earth. Beautiful, we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up, really pull it up, tight core for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you're going to bend the knee and then straighten the knee, bend the knee, straighten the knee, bend it and straighten it, we go for eight, energy through the toes, both hip bones face the floor, for five, breathing, four, three, two, one, beautiful, come to a flat back, shake it out in the legs, your hamstrings should feel it, all right, I'm going to go to the other side so you can see my other leg, you guys stay where you're at, choose flat back of your choice, make sure that your core is nice and supported, make sure again, you're not dumping into that low back, yeah, so make sure it's like right there, boop, pull it in. Now, pull up through that standing leg, Tondu do the left leg back. Pulse, pulse, tap. Pulse, pulse, tap. Keep looking straight down to keep the cervical spine neutral. Keep that core pulled in for eight, seven. Both hip bones stay down for six. Point through the toes, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the leg lifted. You bend the knee, straighten the knee. Bend and straighten, bend, tight core for eight. Keep the leg lifted, seven, six, don't lose that height, keep the core engaged, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful, flat back, take a moment, stretch your hamstrings, sway your hips side to side, take about two full rounds of breath here, and slowly make your way to standing and remove that band. Oh, that one will get your hamstrings. Super good. That's the one that I say, if you're really trying to get that back leg tone, do that one a bajillion times. Don't know if it's a number, but I can make it up. All right, grab two of your uh, dumbbells and come out away from your bar. This next one. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, but whatever, right? We're in it together. So roll the shoulders back. 
You're gonna take a big round like you're holding a big beach ball. And you're gonna press the arms open, but you're not gonna push back so that your arms are in line with the shoulders. They're right to the side so the core ignites. And we close. We open, we close. We pull it open, tight core. Big second position in the legs. We go for eight, breathing seven, six, five, four, whoo, three, two, one. Keep a big round circle. I'm gonna get rid of my weights because five pounds is just too much for me. If you have anything lower than five pounds, if it's like three or two, you can keep it. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go plie, you're gonna turn and tendu, arabesque, the arm and leg pulse, pulse together, you come back to the second. Plie, tendu, pulse, pulse, and second. Plie, turn, pulse, arm and leg together, and plie, keep the core nice and tight. Pulse, pulse, together, plie, tight core, turn. Pulse, pulse, together. Three more for three. Turn, pulse, pulse. Two, turn, pulse, pulse. Last one. Pulse, pulse, arm and leg. Other side. Plie second. Turn to the other leg. Arm and leg together. Plie second. Turn to the leg. Arm and leg together. Plie second. Really press the standing heel. Pulse, pulse, plie second, arabesque, pulse, pulse, last three, breathe in, we're getting a huge back workout, two, inhaling and exhaling, last one, I am right there, woo, with you, and plie, release, good job, go ahead and ditch your weights, and pull your mats out. Ooh, we have made it, at least to the mat. Did that one get y'all's backs a lot? With those weights, I got my back a lot. So I'm hoping I got y'all's too. Yes. Ooh, it's good. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you have your squishy ball and your weights. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, planting the feet onto the mat. Reach the arms forward, shoulders down and away. Lift up, pull up. Take a deep inhale through the nose. As you exhale, you're gonna lower and then you're gonna inhale all the way up, biceps by the ears. Try to keep your gaze down the bridge of the nose and not straining in the neck. Breathing inhale and exhale. Imagine that you have like a cocktail lime. We're gonna have a nice mojito at the end of this happy hour. So keep that cocktail line underneath your chin, looking down your, the tip of your nose. We go for five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna open twist, tap it to the back, come up, take it forward. Twist it open, Tap it back, lift it up, so really using those obliques. The side waist, back, lift, forward we go for eight. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale, up, breathing, Whew. and four more. Four, lift, center, three, all the way up, twist, two, all the way up, last one, twist it back, center, pulse it back, back, lift, pulse it back, back, lift it up, and a back, back, lift it up, we go for eight, breathing, seven, six, We've got this for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Twisting it over to the opposite side. Take it back. Lift it up. Center. Twist. Back. Lift up. Center. For five, eight. Breathing. Center. Seven. Up, center, six, three, 
for five. Up, center, and a four. Back, up, center, and a three. I think this is three. Then we have two. Woo! And a one. Twist tap, up, turn, pulse it back. Pulse it back. Pull the navel in. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit it all the way up. Relax. Good job. Make your way to a tabletop. Grab for your weight and we're going to take it right behind the right leg. Um, if I, you guys know all my modifications for my wrist, uh, I'll go through it one more time. Fists, if on the wrist is too much, or down onto the forearms um, if, if uh, the fists aren't working. Make sure that the shoulders line up over the wrist. Tuck the left toes, pull that belly button in. You're gonna take it to the side. So we're gonna do fire hydrant pulses. Double pulse, 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 feet together. Pulse, pulse, together. Pull that navel in. You want space between the shoulder blades, the rhomboid muscles engaged. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pulse it up, pulse it up. We go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, taking the weight to the other side. Fire hydrants and tucking the right toes. Here we go. Take it side, double pulse, together. Again, imagine that same concept of um, moving through molasses. Resisting, so resisting gravity. Resisting the weight. Breathing. Space between the shoulder blades. For eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, did you have a bubble bath? Four. Two, don't kick that baby. One, pulse it up, pulse it up for one, two, three, four, five, six. We got it, seven, eight, eight more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, remove the weight. Shake your tail side to side. And let's stretch it out. Come to your sits bones. You're gonna take your um, bot, uh, whichever leg first. You wanna uh, make the shin bone parallel to the edge of the mat. And then you're gonna stack the other leg directly on top into a fire log. If the uh, top leg, if the hip is really tight, you can take your squishy ball in between the, the knee and the top of the, uh, leg and then the ball will help carry the weight if that helps you or you can take a towel um anything that helps really maybe even a yoga block sit up nice and tall take a deep inhale through the nose as you exhale forward fold really give into that stretch the piriformis and the glute lead just we're working a lot so we're doing those isometric pulses now it's super important to lengthen and uh Stretch out that muscle. Two more full rounds of breath here. Deep inhalations, deep exhalations. Inhale, bring yourself back all the way up. Arms come high up overhead. You're gonna take the right hand or the same leg that's on top behind your sits bones, and then you're going to reach up and twist and while you let, uh, drop that back shoulder down. So the goal is to turn both shoulders to the side of the room. Really press down in the tops of the legs. Deep inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, palms come behind you, 
shake out the legs. Shake that, that's so loud. All right, we're gonna switch out the legs. So opposite leg on bottom, square it up. If, again, if you need, you can put your ball or your yoga block in between the two legs. Inhale, arms come up high, pull the navel in. As you exhale, forward fold. Deep rounds of breath, really releasing and relaxing into that hip. We did a lot of work there. Good job, guys. We've worked so hard. So now it's a, our beautiful lus luscious stretches. They should never be skipped or forgotten. Otherwise your body is gonna be super, super tight and screaming at you. Inhale, slowly make your way up. Arms come up high. Take the same arm as leg that's on top behind your sits bones. Inhale, as you exhale, gentle twist. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Again, deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, come back forward. As you exhale, palms lower behind you. And we're gonna open our legs to a nice wide straddle position. Making sure you get up high onto your sits bones and that your legs are outwardly rotated. If you need to have a gentle bend into the knees, again, bend at the knees, but make sure that they still stay outwardly rotated. Flex the toes back towards the face. Inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, side stretch over to whichever side calls to you. Right, left. Just find that length, find that space. Really, that bottom shoulder, make sure that it doesn't fall behind. You really want to press it forward and open that chest up towards the sky. One more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, over to the opposite side. Really rotating that shoulder forward. One more full round of breath. And all the way up. And we're gonna take the hands and we're gonna slowly walk ourselves forward. But again, don't let those legs rotate forward. Keep the kneecaps facing the sky. We'll take several rounds of breath here. Keeping the feet flexed, joints protected. Still breathing, being proud of yourselves for coming to a happy hour. It is happy. One more deep breath. And slowly walk yourself all the way up. Take your hands underneath your knees and slowly close them together. Rock your windshield, wipe your knees side to side. Side to side. Hello, Butters. Butters came to say hello to you all. He's like, yes, yes, it's dinner time. Do this, they look at you with their big old eyes and wagging their tail. They know what they're doing. Keep rocking side to side. It's super important to have that counter stretch to the inward rotation to the outward rotation. And for me, it feels super nice, almost like opening and closing your legs like a book. It really feels good because then you get that outside of the hip. Um, this is also a good thing to do in the mornings too. Like if you have a tenant, like if your hips, my hips tend to get super stiff. So this is a really good one. Just kind of rocking and rolling around on the ground like this with uh, going through like a butterfly type position is really, really good. Keep it going three more rounds of breath, turning it in, turning it out. And then slowly making your way to the center and coming back onto your forearms. You're gonna open your legs as wide as your invisible mat, if you were on your mat, and then broken bridge your legs in together. This should feel super, super nice. This is a nice restorative posture for all of that outward rotation work, all of the work in the glute meat and um, the piriformis muscles that we tend to do. Two more full rounds of breath. 
We went out of the gate working super hard. I'm so proud of you ladies. It was a good cardio burn today. Slowly begin to turn your legs up. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment. Allow all of that good work to settle. We're gonna go through tabletop as a transition only and then through downward dog as a transition. Walk yourself into a ragdoll pose. Grab opposite elbows, generous bend into the knees, releasing the crown of the head, sway side to side. This should feel super nice on your low backs. Just releasing and surrendering. One more full round of breath here. When you're ready, finding stillness, listen closely. We're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, or if you have a uh, low back pain, you're gonna reverse okay. swan dive. So rolling through okay. each vertebrae until your head is the final thing to arrive. Stand up nice and tall, first position. Feel yourself tall, feel yourself grounded and balanced. Your core engaged. Beautiful work. We burnt 410 calories. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Tondu, arms overhead. We're going to curtsy to ourselves and our practice and our discipline. And forward, curtsy to each other. Thank you guys so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Truly, these classes are like, oh, it's like the best thing. I love it. I love, I love seeing you ladies still getting together. And again, Zoom makes it so that we can um, continue to meet sometimes when the live meetable isn't meetable. <laughs> so sending so much love. I miss you all and continue following, following along. Continue bar babing it out. When in doubt, we pulse it out. Love you all. See you later.